Hi guys, my name is Anne Greis. I hope you're doing well and I welcome you to a new video. Previously, if we created an options menu for our toolbar that um, got hosted in our activity, we had to overwrite various functionalities inside the fragment. However, since version 1.4.0 Alpha 01 of the Android X activity library, this has been changed. While this fragment menu API could previously been used to add an options menu, now we have a new opportunity. The fragment menu API code has been deprecated and we can now use directly component activity because this activity now implements the menu host interface. This interface now enables us to add a so-called menu provider. This menu provider has the same capabilities as the fragment menu API, but comes also with a small extra feature. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can migrate an example which implements the deprecated code. Then we will see how we implement our own menu provider and add it to the respective activity via the menu host interface. But let's start with a small showcase of our example. So now in Android Studio, this is our sample activity that um, yeah, has a simple toolbar with a title and as you can see, one menu item. And if I click this menu item, I receive a simple generic info dialog. But how is that implemented? Let's dive into it. We have a sample activity and we use here the legacy XML way. Uh, let's jump quickly into the layout. It's a linear layout with a material toolbar. And below that is a fragment container view. And we use the fragment KTX library to um, yeah, replace the fragment here, which is the frag a sample fragment. And we also use the find view by ID to get a reference to the toolbar and then set it as set support action bar and set the title to a tutorial app. But as you can see, no mention of the options menu. So where is that? That is in the sample fragment. And you can already see uh, that the set has options menu is set to deprecated and also the on create options menu and the on options item selected function, which are both required to in, um, implement this menu item are marked as deprecated. So we simply use this fra uh, fragment sample menu. And as you can see, it's a simple <laughs> uh, info icon. And yeah, if the icon gets selected, we call the show info alert. And here we just display the message and that's it. Okay, now that we saw how we can do that, how can we get rid of the deprecated code and migrate to the menu host option? It's quite simple. We can remove the set has options menu. And now, because we know that um, the parent is an app compat activity and that inherits from the uh, fragment, activity, which on the other hand inherits from the component activity and that implements the menu host, we can say require activity and then uh, cast it to the menu host. And now we can simply say add menu provider. And what that function does is, as it already implies, um, that we can add our own menu provider. And then as already mentioned, this menu provider is the equivalent to the fragment menu API, which are these functions here. There are already, um, there are also other functions like on prepare options menu. Um, and this interface um, implements all these functionalities. So in order to use it, we can now add a new object and the menu provider. And now we say implement members and we only need on create menu and on menu item selected that are the required ones. 
but we can also take a look at the other options and that are on prepare menu and on menu close. So now you already uh, also have an option to yeah, get notified when the menu gets closed. But for this migration, we don't need these functions. We only need on create menu and on menu item selected. And if we take a look in the deprecated code, we use the inflator to inflate our sample menu. And yeah, that this is exactly what we also do with the menu provider. So we add this uh, small sample code and use the menu inflator to inflate the menu. Next, we need to implement the on menu item selected function, which refers to the on op options item selected. I will just copy this code and here we can use the menu item. And now we only need to tell if we consume the item. Um, if it doesn't match the menu info, we return false. And yeah, that's already it for this part. But take care. If you use this version of the add menu provider, um, you will need to manually unregister the options menu. Luckily, we have some overrides here that will help us. The first one um, just needs an additional lifecycle owner because we only want that info icon to be shown when the fragment is visible. We will pass in the uh, view lifecycle owner, which refers to the yeah, fragment. And as a third option, we can pass in a lifecycle state that will be responsible for determining in which state the menu provider should get added or removed. So if you have some specific requirements here, you could pass in a lifecycle state. In this case, we will just use the view lifecycle owner and that's it. So now we can get rid of the deprecated code here. And let's try out what happens if we start the app again. And as you can see, the menu item here is visible. And if I once again click on it, the generic text shows up. Very nice. That's already it for the migration part of the fragment. However, just to mention it, of course, you could also add an options menu from or menu provider from the uh, respective activity itself. That is not a problem. And yeah, if you want to take a look at some code samples, I will link the respective Medium article down in the description. And I hope you had some takeaways. Like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and activate the notification bell. And I hope to see you soon.